experiences. To terrorize a population is at least as old as the Holocaust. In a December the 7th, 1941 decree, Adolf Hitler ordered that people resisting German occupation should simply disappear into the night and fog. performance uh, about uh, about difficult uh, Belarusian reality yes uh, difficult Belarusian uh, life uh, because in uh, our uh, official theater uh, you can't uh, see uh, performance about real people uh, in our country but uh, our theatre uh, try performed about real life, about real people, about uh, real problems in our country. Belarusia uh, it is located uh, underground and uh, Belarus Free Theatre works uh, unfortunately only in apartments, clubs. Uh, when, when it's summertime we go to the woods so in order to get more audience to our performances. Um, as for performing in clubs it's very complicated because uh, businessmen who provide us places they uh, lost uh, their licenses and now we could perform only in private apartments and private houses. Um, all actors, uh, all, all actors and all um, theater managers, uh, they lost their education, they lost their jobs. Uh, so, uh, as we it's say, very complicated. yeah, as we say, the Belarus Free Theater is a model of different repressions. Uh, that exist in Belarus. So people uh, of our city, they stay in jail, they were arrested, they were beaten up. So this is what happens in Belarus. As for the performing outside of Belarus, these are the best uh, stages uh, of the world. Uh, we performed uh, just a few days ago at the main theatre festival in Brussels. and. Uh, before it, uh, we arrived from the USA, where we performed in Washington, in San Diego, and in, uh, in uh, Los Angeles. Mm. And last week, we got the support of uh, one great director and producer. His name is Steven Spielberg, with who we met uh, in uh, Los Angeles, and he supported uh, what we do. And uh, uh, he passed his great support to people of Belarus. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, when we are out of Belarus, it's great support and um, great places. Uh, unfortunately, for Belarus, we are prohibited there. UN Convention, a number of definitions has been discussed. The most recent is that in Article 1 of the draft convention as presented in a document of the UN Commission on Human Rights, dated 7th of March 2005. The states, parties to this uh, what are the artistical aims of your group? You are so different, you ensemble different abilities uh, within your group. So what is the aim? Where are you going to? Um, but for me the most important thing is that um, theatre as a medium um, is, the only, is the only art form that can have the live here and now experience of an audience. So what we, are, we try to do in each project is to put that at the center um, of the project, at the center of the artistic aim, uh, is the here and now experience. And it's also, um, so sometimes it happens that we put somebody in a wheelchair and, and, and don't see anything. Sometimes it happens that we put um, a Tredici a Ragazzi uh, on the scene to have a sort of a real life energy that you wouldn't feel, feel on film or on photos or like that. Um, and I think, um, I, meaning uh, for what we try to achieve, we do that because 
to give a good reflection uh, on reality. Um, reality is also mixed with fiction the whole time. So to go give a good reflection, to be a mirror of real life, you have to um, mix the fiction with reality too. I think that's really important for us. Con Daniel Braga, exacto. Sí, eso. Eh, por, por este espectáculo de que se llama Mansarda sí. y vosotros eréis circulando de Portugal. Sí. De Portugal, ¿de dónde? De Porto. De Porto. De Porto. De Portugal, sí. ¿Qué idea es esta? Es, es, un, es un final de un ciclo de tres años de trabajo que llamamos la poética de la casa. La poética de la, poética de la casa. Eh, parte de, de, de un autor que se llama, es un filósofo francés que se llama Gaston Bachelard, que habla de, que, que habla de dos libros esenciales para nosotros, que es La poética del espacio y La poética del devaneo. es un poco una locura sana, ¿sí? Porque, ¿comprendes? Sí, locura perfectamente. Sana. Eh, es un poco eso, como, 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 como la humanidad construye una casa. Okay. Eh, ¿Es una humanidad de, de la agrícola? De la... No, es una humanidad, no diría agrícola, diría próxima de la, próxima de la tierra, más, no, buscamos un tiempo más, más lento, más, más, un poco más contemplativo, más para que los sentidos vengan un poco más presentes, la, la, los, los, los dolores, la... Muy, muy sensaciones, sí, el, el escuchar, muy, el, sí, el rodear... El ruido, el ruido el, la color, la, la humedad, la, la agua... La, la este final con el agua sí. es muy potente y... Sí, son las sensaciones físicas que queremos tener en el cuerpo y poner en el, en el público. Al mismo tiempo nos gusta mucho mantener la, la, la humanidad, las relaciones, la, la, la vida humana. No, que nos quedemos solamente por la sensación de, de, de estar en la tierra, estar en la agua, pero también estar con el otro. Es, estamos uno para, para el otro. ¿no? Mucho es cierto, de la sensación de la comunidad. Sí. sí. Y... Eréis muy jóvenes. Sí, un poco. Sentimos eso un poco es un problema, porque somos muy jóvenes. Eh, sí, 25 o 35, es, es un poco así. Pero mucha energía también sobre sí, la podemos, escena. Sí, tenemos, ayer fue un poco más, estábamos un poco más como un prima fuera de Portugal, un poco más... A nos sentirnos un poco más no, no, joven. Y, y no podemos, y somos jóvenes y tenemos que ser jóvenes y, y, y meter a la fuerza que tiene de ser joven. <ríe>